The new Audi S5 is a head-turner. Easing your way through Joburg's leafy suburbs has never been more comfortable and seldom this stylish for the city's up-and-coming. The sleek, radiant exterior beams class through the purple jacarandas at any onlooker. And the stylish modern interior is just what we have come to love from Audi. Inside, we are blessed with fine leather seats, complete with massage function, delicately stitched to precision. Polished metal finishes neatly complement the S logo and the interior elegantly balanced with flourishes of new age carbon fiber and Alcantara. So we've become accustomed to seeing coupés around the leafy suburbs of Joburg on a Sunday. But the Audi S5 is not just a regular Sunday drive kind of car. So to test our theory, we took it a few kilometers beyond the city limit. Welcome to Hartebeerspoort. The thing is, you look down at the speedometer and you realize that you, you're easily accessing numbers that you're not allowed to be touching on a national road. Here, we could drive the car free of any obstacles and really see how this car evolves. Change from comfort to dynamic, Audi's version of Sport and the 3.0-litre V6 turbocharged engine seamlessly leaves its domestic kitten self at the side of the road and becomes an entirely different creature. So this is where the Audi S5 sort of feels at its best or at home. An open road begging you to give it more. Switch it over to dynamic mode. The engine note starts speaking to you and the 260 kilowatts just start coming so easily. Two hundred and sixty kilowatts at the wheels, but it sounds like an average number. But the, the torque of this car is relentless. It's amazing that a car that you see like this is so unassuming. But when you get behind the wheel, you sort of feel like you're in a different world. It puts the speed down so easily. A, a few weeks ago, I got a chance to drive the Lamborghini Aventador S uh, on a racetrack, to be exact. I loved how the Aventador put its power down. Now I get into the S5 and I think about how the S5 gets to top speeds just as quickly or high speeds just as quickly. The nice thing is it's doing it and it's doing it very soft, very laid back. It leaves me questioning. Is the S5 a car that you can go play around with on a track as well? I think it's quite possible. 